oh my god, the end is the limit, you know, the max is the limit. <laughs> no, there's no max, there's no limit. <laughs> just finished our show the aftermath which is a virtual reality show for us who really like the epic shows the bigness you know while not being able to play live this is the first thing that comes close to that actually for us without being performing on a real life stage we were approached by a video company and he said, I have something really new, it's a new technique and everything, and we can do virtual reality on any kind of, well, scenery you would like. And so and we were like, oh my God, the end is the limit, you know, the max is the limit. <laughs> no, there's no max, there's no limit. <laughs> so we were like, ah. We were filmed before uh, green screen. It was even hard, of course, to be enthusiastic while playing. I was like trying to imagine everybody there and like how would they normally react to certain songs. The chances that it goes wrong is like 90%. It just stops, you know, the broadcast and you don't have any things or, or it takes time again to get back online again. So we felt like we have to pre, uh, you know, pre-record it live and then broadcast it. Noise VR is an immersive way of using virtual reality and connected to music, getting people from all over the world to concerts, seeing their favorite artists. We also now have used a new um, kind of new technology, which is edge computing. So now you can watch our concerts in a browser window. We have a um, studio a little bit outside of Hamburg. The artist um, comes there and they need a green screen behind them and then they can just perform. You have to buy a ticket before, like a classic concert. We have a basic setup for the avatar, and then you kind of can customize a little bit, jump between stage and stage, and the artists you like, even meet up with your friends and um, kind of enjoy a concert together. You would think we would be um, way ahead of the curve and kind of could benefit from it. Unfortunately, none of the artists was willing to come to the studios to record um, sessions for us. Never, no. But it's an, just an extra way of presenting the band, I think. But there are certain things where it kind of can't replace real concerts. That's not the intentions. We just want to eliminate restrictions. And right now, during Corona, you notice how difficult it can be to, to kind of see your favorite artists. It's something that people um, need to get used to in a way that, that this is an opportunity or and, and see the advantages of it. It doesn't have to be music, it can be everything, but music is kind of the most emotional, most visually presentable of all the options you have.